Welcome back to She Living. I am your host, Angela. And today, we're still talking about our third stimulus package. I shared with you all yesterday that I was going to start breaking down the stimulus package, what was in it, and we was going to go down the list and we was going to discuss some things. So, let's get started. But first, today is Friday the 12th. It is officially tax season. You can start e-filing your income tax today. The IRS is ready and prepared to, to accept. And the holdup was them trying to get their system in place for all the things that had happened in December, you remember it was, uh, you got the 600 direct payment and you got a few more things that kind of change the tax laws and the different forms. So that was the holdup and that is why the delay on the 12th. So let's get into, okay, we're going to start with the $15 an hour minimum wage. We're going to break down this. COVID relief package bit by bit, and we're going to talk about what is all in it. A $15 an hour minimum wage um, increase. Biden is calling all Congress to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour and to end the tip wet minimum wage and the sub minimum wage for people with disability. I told y'all where I live, minimum wage is $7.25. And that is below poverty, actually. You mean to tell me I have to work all day for $56? And this is before taxes. So a lot of states, they are the minimum wage is definitely below poverty. So $15 an hour, it will definitely help the economy. Remember... We're talk we're trying to stabilize the economy, not just stimulate it, not just get eh, 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 like the car. Eh, 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 eh. We're not just trying to get it going. We're trying to stabilize the economy. But it does come with some consequences. Many small businesses anticipate laying off workers if Congress in increase the federal minimum wage to fifteen dollars an hour. We all we know that a lot of mom and pop stores even a lot of small franchises, they really cannot afford to pay $15 an hour. So I understand the debate, and but I also understand that $7.25 is below poverty. I think that it should be like in the middle. You can do $10 an hour, $12 an hour. Just, you need to get out of the one digit. You need to get out of the seven, eight, and nine. Let's do some 10, 11, and 12. Let's get into double digits. It don't have to be a, a, the $15, but it do need to be increased. We understand that, you know, a lot of, a lot of businesses might close because they can't pay $15 an hour. A recent Congress uh, Congressional Budget all, uh, Office analysis forecast that a $15 minimum wage would lift 900 Americans out of poverty. And me, I believe it's way more than that. I believe it's in the millions. But will result in 1.4 million do uh, jobs lost. Again, a lot of bi a lot of businesses, a lot of corporations cannot cash out fifteen dollars an hour per worker per employee. They just can't do it. They don't have the resources, and a lot of jobs have even closed. Even corporations have closed because of COVID. A lot of corporations could not even last the two or three months of the shutdown. So I know that they they can't last given. 20 employees, $15 an hour. So if I'm making $15 an hour, but I'm still working like a four hour shift, it's, if you add it all up, it still will be like the poverty level. I need $10 or 11, 12, 13, 14, $15 an hour with a whole eight hour shift. You understand what I'm saying? 
So it's going to be, I think this is debatable. I think this is definitely something that uh, the de Democrats and the Republicans need to come together. They need to uh, give a good number. It don't need to be something sideways. It don't need to be a few cents. It do need to be some dollars increase but it do, it definitely doesn't have to be fifteen dollars so this is one thing in this stimulus um uh package that i i'm on the fence with because a lot of corporations are closed down a lot of businesses were closed down so uh, you need to kind of meet in the middle what do y'all think what do y'all think will be a good number as far as um minimum wage because you like here in Mississippi, minimum wage is seven twenty five. But I don't, and I need to look up and see how much minimum wage is in bigger cities because it, it it is more, but the cost of living is more. And so where you can get an apartment here for four or five hundred dollars, you couldn't get an apartment in California or New York for four or five hundred dollars but it de it definitely needs to be and this is federal federal mean i guess it's gonna be all across so the starting pay is fifteen dollars i know mississippi could not handle that big of an increase so i definitely think it needs to be something that's discussed something that's um debated and, and kept in considerations among the democrats and the republicans let me know what you all think about it that's all i have on the uh 15 dollars an hour and we're gonna again we're gonna break this bill down i printed it off we're gonna break this bill down we're gonna talk about it we're gonna discuss it and let me know your thoughts and these are just my thoughts i'm not a lawmaker i'm not a political guru i'm not a uh, journalist i'm just a woman with <coughs> that likes to talk about what's going on in the news i want to do the comment of the day it is from eyeshadow shopper eyeshadow shopper and she said thanks for the update this was for yesterday's video Thanks for the update. It's unbelievable that we are going through this. And my response to you, I uh I shall shopper, God got us. God got us. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share. Let me know what else you would like me to talk about. Don't forget to file them income tax. Let me know what you think in the comments. Y'all have a beautiful and blessed day. Bye.